Hello guys and welcome, it is that SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 2 video. Today we are going to be doing a weapon analysis on the splatter shot. Now there are two splatter shots that we know of so far. There is the splatter shot of course and there is the tender tech splatter shot. Now the regular splatter shot has burst bombs for the sub and the splat down special. The tender tech has the splat bomb for sub and the inkjet special. The splatter shot in general is a three shot kill dealing 35.0 damage per shot it has a medium range of fire and a pretty standard fire rate. Now, personally, from Splatoon 1, in my opinion as well, this weapon is basically one of the most all-around best weapons in the game, as its ink management is probably one of the best in the game. It has really good mobility, and it has fairly accurate RNG. So putting all these factors into just one weapon just makes it all-around great to use on every map in the game. Now, considering you get these two weapons very early into the game, if you are just starting out in into Splatoon, this is probably one of the best weapons to go for if you want to get into the shooter class. Other weapons in this genre may have a slightly higher learning curve. So for a beginner like yourself, this is the best pick as the learning curve isn't that high. Now going into the subs and specials with these two weapons, you have a burst bomb with the regular splatter shot. Now having the burst bomb on the regular splatter shot is very helpful because you can now perform the burst bomb combo. If you were to throw a burst bomb directly at an opponent, it will do 60 damage. Now knowing the splatter shot is able to output 35.0 damage onto an opponent, basically if somebody has walked into your ink and you throw a burst bomb and shoot them with the splatter shot, you only need to put one pellet of ink into them to actually take them out. You also have the splashdown special with the regular splatter shot. It allows you to be a lot more risky with your super jump if you have the splashdown special enabled. What I mean by this is that if you are to super jump to one of your teammates and they are in a fight of high suppression, you can jump to them and use your splashdown special as you land. It secures your safety in jumping in and will defeat any foes that are close by. Now a crowd favorite known as the Tenetech Splatter Shot, it has Splat Bombs and Inkjet. The one interesting thing you can do though is that you do have Splat Bombs and you can roll bombs however you want instead of it being a suction bomb which will stick to the wall. With the Inkjet Special, it will allow you to shoot your opponents at longer ranges that you cannot reach and get into higher places on surprise. In my opinion, this type of Tenetech in Splatoon 2 compared to Splatoon 1 isn't as fast paced as it was. Considering that Ink Zooka was such a fast paced and deadly special in Splatoon 1, I personally feel like the Ink Jet is just a much slower version of this. But in conclusion, I definitely feel like if you are a beginner into Splatoon, the Splatter Shot and Sp Tenetech Splatter Shot is one of your best picks that you would want to go with as your first weapon in Splatoon. It allows you to get used to maneuvering around the mechanics of Splatoon, and you just in general have very good stats all around when going against your opponents. But that is all for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please, if you did enjoy, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of you feeling generous. And as always, guys, this has been that SRB2 dude, and I shall see you guys in a future video.